All right. So first question is, what do you think of the representation of female characters in anime, games, or pop culture in terms of race and body type? So that's the first question. Before we get started, um, this is a podcast that we're all talking about colorism and body shaming. Um, so we just have a great group of young ladies here. We're going to talk about it. So ladies, you want to introduce yourselves? Sure. Let's go in the order. Hi, my name is Sai. I'm 27 years old and I've been cosplaying since 2017. Awesome. Awesome. And you did a really great, um, we love the uh, the him cosplay. Like, I was talking about that for, like, she was. I was like, oh, yeah, she was. <laughs> so, she was. Yes. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> All right. And who we got next? Safari. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 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 See, I've been inspired to cosplay since maybe 2012-ish. I've been uh, working on one right now, and it's coming out hopefully by July this year. Stay tuned for it. It's going to be hot. Hopefully, I've been sewing and pricking some fingers, <laughs> making that thing walk. <laughs> All right. I think that's enough. Okay. All right. Thank you. And then. <laughs> Come on, girly. Hey. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shauna Lynn, aka Sly Cooper Seven Eleven on Instagram and Twitch. Sometimes on Twitter, whenever I I remember that I have a Twitter. Um, <laughs> I've been into anime since I was four years old. My first anime was Slayers, came out in '95. Um, I've been into comic books my whole life, and I started cosplaying around seventh grade. I was in middle school. And I'll be 29 minutes next month, so that'll put that into perspective. Oh, what day in What day in July? 7-Eleven, you get free Slurpees on my birthday. Oh, <laughs> hey. I know you love that Beyonce song, man. <laughs> Ever since she released it, that's every year. <laughs> like, I'll wake up, I'll have it set as my alarm on that day, and I'll be like, show the start with Oh my god. <laughs> that was song was made for you. So it was made for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um who wanted to start with the first question? And if you want me to repeat it or either one of us to repeat it, we can do or that. Or if you're too. not comfortable with answering it, you could just say pass. Yeah. yeah. Can you repeat it? Mm -hmm. you read this. I can't reach it. Right. Okay. <laughs> so first question, what do you think of the representation of female characters in anime, games, or pop culture in terms of race and body type? I'll go. Okay. All right, cool. So, I just feel like every body type, like with anime and like video games, I feel like every body type is like literally the same to me. It's mm -hmm. never like, you know, uh, how can I say it? It's never like a normal average body. It's always like big boobs yeah. or or a bud and flat stomach, and it's like, dang, do I gotta, like, work out just to look like this specific character? Mm -hmm. It's literally, to me, it's the same body type with mm -hmm. everything that I look at, and it, like, really makes me upset. So that's how I feel about it. Mm -hmm. We agree. Yeah, I 
I definitely agree with that. Like, I feel like, I feel like when it comes to, um, like, especially video games, like being a huge gamer, especially like my whole life, pretty much not really seeing that sense of representation. Um, and then as far as the developers, they don't really, I guess you could say they don't really do their research. Like we don't really have a cookie cutter characteristic type of template when it comes to us, you know, like you could be, you could be like the same, you could come from the same ethnic background and look completely different from each other. Like my sister and I, we're both black and Filipino and we look like, she looks like my twin, just 12 years younger, but there's like small things. Like I have like dad's hands and feet and she's got mom's hands and feet. She's got more of mom Filipino hair. I have, you know, more dad's hair and it's not, it's not the same, but us, let alone when it comes to video games and stuff, like, uh, even with, like, right now I'm playing, um, I'm replaying Dragon Age Inquisition, and even in games like RPGs and stuff like Sims, when it comes to people of, you know, like, a lighter complexion or a lighter skin tone, they have so much variety. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have maybe four or five, if that, and it's, like, you're either, you know, like really, really light caramel mm -hmm. or like a, like a medium mocha mm -hmm. or you like a, a sun-kissed dark chocolate. There's no range. It's just yeah, three, yeah, I got three, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like it's the same in like society, pop culture, like you guys said, even the makeup industry. Mm -hmm. the, like, you know, recently, like these past couple years, you could barely find a shade that matched you that didn't require you buying three shades yeah. and mixing them together. Like that was so painful and mm -hmm. expensive just to find a shade that matched you. So just the fact that we have to struggle to find anything like that represents us yes in our day-to-day -day lives it's yeah. it's ridiculous we don't we don't get the option of being like oh okay look that's me or i see myself in that person or whatever the rep if there's lack of representation and it's got to change mm -hmm. yeah agreed yeah in um, yeah. a lot of anime like either you know the brainless or the strong female role are all like built the same. Even when I was a kid playing um, Killer Instinct, and the only female character that I can remember was Orchid. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's the one that I wanted to be like, you know, but because she was a female, like you're a little girl, you don't want to play with any dude characters. You know, right. you're the female characters. <laughs> but Orchid was like they didn't have all of the graphics that they did today to make everything bounce but you knew it was there you know they made it prominent you know yeah. so, but there are some characters like i'm trying to remember this anime that i watched with my boyfriend uh the return of the shield hero mm -hmm. um there's one female character no 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 that wasn't it it's another anime that's slipping my mind. If I remember it, I'll just shout it out in the middle of the talk. But okay. um, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about one. different colors, and she's gonna be like, "Oh, it's this." <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how it happened. <laughs> but um, there's one character that he likes, and she's portrayed as the less sexy, flat-chested, real mellow and gothic type, or whatever. You know, real like you know just just push him, you know, <laughs> you know, type that he actually likes. And it's something kind of made me feel a little bit better because all the other heroes or villains, or, you know, are, eh. yeah. and as you can yeah. see, I am not. Eh. <laughs> but um, I I'm also ex excited for the progression of uh, anime because we're starting to have like a uh, black artists starting to do anime but i could i felt like i couldn't ask for too much of me inside of anime seeing as though there's not that much of me in japan 
if mm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It would be great, but some of the references that we do see, I'm like, nobody's lips look like that. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Like they do too much or it's too extra, and then in some cases it could come off as kind of racist. Like we're Mr. Not Popo. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I got grapes on that one. I'm trying my best not to see Mr. Popo as what I think Mr. Popo is, but I'm seeing Mr. Popo as what I think Mr. Popo is. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? But, um... The jinx from, um, Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, man. Like, as a kid, because Pokemon was, like, elementary school, you know? Like, I had memorized the first generation's yeah. Pokedex, like, in third grade, so I was... I was all about that, but like I didn't realize that until I was already like older, you know. And then you start seeing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go back. Hold up. You know exactly. Hold up. That's not. That's not cool. We let this slide. Hold up. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> We didn't have a meeting about this. No one was cc'd on an email. We should have had a discussion. Exactly. <laughs> or like lunch. Right, lunch, where she would sneeze <laughs> and she would be a totally different person or whatever. Like she oh, yeah. basically portrayed the only two females that you see in anime. Like Lunch was anime females, <laughs> rolled yeah. up into one, separated by a sneeze. So <laughs> that's that's how I how I see most of them. But they're they're starting to do different, but not really. They're still petite. Yeah, I feel like in a way it's like long story short, slow progress is still progress. Like we're getting there, mm -hmm. you know, we're seeing more melanated characters. And, you know, we're we're taking the steps in the right direction, but it's it's way long overdue. Like Brienne yeah. on um, Dragon Ball Super, she mm -hmm. had little mm -hmm. and then. <laughs> She has thick with them three C's, man. She has thick with them Okay, let's go, Brian. For the thick culture, let's go. <laughs> we got thighs. But yeah, no, they coming. They coming. And like yeah. the, the new Ginky Force character, I forgot her name, but she a little flip them too. Flip <laughs> too, with four C's, like. <laughs> <laughs> I was really, I was really hyped about. Um, I think one of the first melanated characters that I like jumped out of my seat for was uh, when Michiko and Haching first came out. Oh yeah, Michiko and Michiko. I like lost it. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> She's melanated and she's mixed like me. Like, oh my God. <laughs> and then, you know, it's one thing to see like bits and pieces of your personality in a character, but when they have similar personalities as you and then they look like you and they're built like you, because I was like, yo, she's, she's feminine, but she's fit, but she's not like, you know, like Shay had mentioned, she's not like. <laughs> like, like, I, I was flat chested till I was like 16, so like I had to I'm still I need, need help. <laughs> so like seeing a character that looks like me, not just personality wise or anything like that, but body type wise, I was like, oh, I'm binge watching this episode and then binge watching this whole series and I will die on this hill. Like <laughs> mm -hmm. You know so, what I caught myself doing? And what? I didn't realize it until I was older. So I used to catch myself calling certain characters black that weren't like Brock in um, the first Pokemon. generation mm -hmm. Pokemon. He was black. He was black to me, right? Yeah, <laughs> he was a darker same complexion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. same, and then, thing, uh, same thing with Piccolo. I was just about to say that Piccolo was black. Yeah. On that man, he was black. <laughs> 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 and I didn't realize that I was doing that until like I got older. It was like, yeah, yeah, because right. it was already like second nature. Because it's, it's the first thing you associate it with, you know. Like, yeah, no, I feel that. I get that. Exactly. That's how I got it. <laughs> <laughs> so we for the next.
next question or did y'all want to add any more? Yeah. Any last minute like opinions or anything on that question before we move on to the next? Um, just like special shout out to that one studio that just announced that they were ran by melanated people. And so oh. we're going to have a lot of melanated okay. anime. So like, I'm like super hype about that. Yeah, I can't remember its name. I should have wrote it there. I'll die on that hill too. Like, <laughs> okay. See where we the next question. All right. So the next question: Have you experienced slash witnessed the accuracy of a cosplay being questioned due to the person's skin complexion or facial features? Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a part of so many blurred groups or cosplay groups on Facebook, and yeah. some will screenshot from a different group, and it'll be like them shaming some. Like I seen um a thick chick doing Tomb Raider, right? Y'all probably seen that picture or whatever, and then they were, you know, they they said refrigerator, you know, something real negative or whatever. She was killing it. And she was killing it. Like, realistically, you cannot cosplay characters because <laughs> yeah. they're not. They're, they're built video games back then, especially because we like the cosplay. Old, well, we probably started off cosplaying older stuff back when we were like five, ten years old or something like that. Women didn't play. That was fan service for the men. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So we we weren't in the video. You know, we didn't really have. A, have a say so so of course i've seen it or i've seen it on both sides whether you're melanated or not and like a non-melanated person trying to do a melanated cosplay yeah and they either did it the right way and just put on the clothes or they did it the wrong way and did it a lot oh no. <laughs> and, yeah. yeah you know but I, I i've seen i've seen it on both sides of yeah. everything whether it's thicker body, wrong skin color, you know what I mean? Or even gender bin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, for me I see it um, you know, like you, I'm a part of a lot of other pages and stuff like that. But I, I see it a lot on TikTok too. Because really? people oh, people wow. bold on TikTok, man. Ooh. I'm like, no, oh, that was and then you know how you can reply to comments? in TikTok, like they'll, they'll screenshot the comment and put it at like the top of the screen and then record whatever they need to record in the background or whatever. And, um, but I saw, uh, what was it? So, you know, like for y'all that have seen my Shigo cosplay, I haven't really like delved into body paint and stuff yet because it's just, it just looks like a lot. <laughs> it looks messy. I can't, I haven't familiarized myself with it. Like I might get there, I might not. We're, we're gonna work with what we work with. But um, everything for my Shigo cosplay, I have done from like the, the longer black hair, the black upper lip, um, the strong like black eyeliner and then the suit and the gloves and the boots. But I haven't done, you know, like the, the body paint or anything like that. And so all of my TikToks of Shigo is just me and cosplay. Like I don't have anything. It's just my just my skin. And I've seen other girls, you know, cosplay as Shigo and they'll get more backlash and be like, oh, this character is not black, you know, and she's or she's not brown or she's not Asian. And I'm like, well, I mean, technically, like, she's not, what are you trying to say? Like, she's not white either. Like, she's like a really, 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 really light shade of green, like, super, super light shade of green. Like, what are you trying to say? You know? <laughs> or um, even, uh, like, I had somebody, uh, when I did that photo shoot with uh, Barry, my first silk photo shoot, somebody said that, like, I was the wrong, like, skin color and ethnicity for silk. What? <laughs> I was like, Silk is Korean American. Like, I'm Filipino American. First of all, like, that has nothing to do with the character. If I like the character, I'm a cosplay of the character. Like, right. It's it's a cosplay of a comic character. Like, chill. Like, it's not that deep. Yeah, like, right, right. We can't like let us be great. Can we just exist? Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. 
like, and then I had, um, somebody said something about my, my kimono Sora. And they were like, oh, that's, that's culture appropriation towards Asians because it's a kimono. And I'm like, um, okay, but like, <laughs> but, but like, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> but like, <laughs> and then they try to say like, oh, well, you know, Sora is not Sora is not brown. I'm like Sora is also not a girl. We're not just gonna focus on the fact that like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You know. Then I had another person comment, and they were like, "That's not even the right keyblade for Sora." And I was Are like, you? "Excuse me." And they were like, "Oh wait, I thought that was Mickey's key keyblade." You know, like my bad, I was wrong. Like so, <laughs> what if it was? was? Who cares? Oh like <laughs> didn't have Sora's keyblade, and I did have. King Mickey's keyblade, like who cares? It's a keyblade. Exactly. Sora, like, what if I just didn't have it, but I had that one? Are you gonna at me the whole time, just like <laughs> attack me? Why don't you? Like, I'm just like, <laughs> 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 live, like, dang. <laughs> wow. Wow. I had yeah. told by some coworkers because I went. To, there's an event here called I Almost Messed It Up Highball. And it's like a, a downtown costume Halloween block party, right? Absolutely love it. Even though it's kind of gone downhill with like the events and stuff, it's kind of got boring, but whatever. I live for that day. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and so I wanted to, I wanted to get started early. I said, I want to do Sailor Moon, right? I told my coworkers, you know, showed them some pictures. They're, I worked in maintenance, so there's not that many women girls yeah. let alone people of color and maintenance so long story short i wasn't allowed to cosplay uh uh seven moon so <laughs> they was like why don't you do storm like i'm tired of storm i mean i love storm mm -hmm. but when yeah. you think of a black woman storm uh -huh. right like if you knew my full like first name it is not common so i'm not doing anything that is common <laughs> if that makes sense you know what i mean i didn't even really want to do sailor moon because like say the moon is common not right with us maybe you know well nowadays it is but this was like four years ago but it was still something different for someone of my color at the time but yeah, we had a whole entire discussion. I had to bring up other cosplayers. Like, look, she did it. She did it. She looks good in it. <laughs> it, it was just a whole entire, it was a whole entire thing. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, that's, that's, like, a popular, that's a popular thing is like, when you pitch cosplay ideas around certain people, like Storm is the first thing, like, if I were to be like, you know what, I want to cosplay as, as Spider Gwen, you know, and they're like, oh, well, you know, that's, I mean, that's a good idea, you know, but like, don't you want to cosplay as like Storm? And I'm like, like, don't get me wrong, Storm a bad bitch and everything, but like, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just so, like, we've done it. <laughs> <laughs> We want to branch out and do like other stuff, you know, and then or yeah. like uh, or vixen, you know, and then like you'll cosplay as newbie, <clears throat> like Wonder Woman's sister, and they're like, oh, it's the Black Wonder Woman. Like, no, it's yeah. Nubia. She has a whole identity. Like, and then you'll get you'll get those people that are like, oh, oh, well, I'm tired of, you know, like these comic book creators conforming to the peer pressure of people who accuse them of being racist because now they're including um you know like the black wonder woman and they're making iron man a black female and we're like first of it's, all it's been that way we haven't had the hype we haven't had any of that. Like, if it wasn't for the fact that my dad got me into comics when I was a kid, I would have, I wouldn't have known about Nubia until I was an adult. I wouldn't have known about a lot of 
characters that are underrated and don't have a lot of attention until I was an adult, you know? And, and like, we're tired of it. Like, let us, let us be great. Like, let us do our own thing. Like, you know, like, I'm happy that when they uh, did the Black Panther movie, you know, of course, a lot of cosplay like costume making companies were like, let's roll them out. And you see like a whole bunch of um, cosplays of like the characters from Black Panther now. And so that's, that's another step in the right direction. But it's like, oh, I want to be this character. Oh, well, don't you, don't you want to be Black Panther instead? Like, yeah, that's, that's what happened when um, Suicide Squad came out. And so yeah. as soon as Suicide Squad came out, I was, as soon as I walked out the movie theater, I was like, everybody's going to be Harley Quinn, every oh, single yeah. person. And then Black Panther came out, everybody's going to be the Dora Milaje, everybody's going to be a Koye, everybody's going to, you know what I mean? Everybody's going to do this. And in my head, I'm like, I'm going to be like one of, you know, a thousand, you know, <laughs> everybody's going to do it. So I'm like, <laughs> I really want to, but I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're here for the support. You're here for the representation. Like, I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Don't try to box us in and be like, okay, so we gave you this. So now you don't have to just be Storm anymore. Now you can so, be two people. <laughs> you can be two people. <laughs> it's like, no, if I want to be a melanated Supergirl, I'm going to be a melanated Supergirl. That's another one I got. That's in the closet right now. I got a melanated Supergirl. Like, <laughs> like yes. oh, well, you know, dark Supergirl who's blonde haired and, and blue eyed. There's there's blonde haired, blue eyed black people. I had that conversation with the same group of employees oh, too. Okay. I was like, look. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let me let me pull out this tension real quick. Let me Let's go. We out here. We got everything <laughs> under the sun. Look. look. Look, look, got everything under the sun. Come at me if you want to. Just because I ain't got it, don't mean my cousins back home ain't got it. I'm just let's go. Speaking of, like, uh, there have been a lot of artists coming out with, like, a lot of comic book concept characters or whatever, or maybe even their own comic books, which I just see early this uh, week a melanated group of people are coming up with their own comic book like universe. I was like, let's go. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sly sent me a picture months ago. It's like Safari do this. And it was um, a lady in Baku. And two oh, wow. days ago oh, I went to Joanne that. Fabrics. <laughs> went to <laughs> I went to Joanne Fabrics. <laughs> I went to the clearance section of the uh, of the fabrics and I saw a yard full of fur. I was like, I'm getting it because it's half off. <laughs> and I was surprised her with this shit, but it's too late. I already told you. <laughs> as soon as I saw that picture, I was like, O'Neal, oh my God. <laughs> With her name at you. Like, she's always changing her name every time I turn around. Like, Man, look, dude, I will pay for this stuff. I don't know how to make nothing. We talked about that. I don't know how to make nothing, but I make enough money for people to make stuff for me. So, like, you don't want to talk about how much you don't. I was like, please, please do it. She was like, oh, she bad. She had my hairstyle and everything. She had my hairstyle, thick thighs, skin color. This is the part, like, I've never seen a better match for me until she sent me this picture. I even reached out to the artist, and I said, do I have permission to do it? Oh, that's another way you can tell where it's like, you know, when you and your friends feel the same way, when y'all on the same page, same vibe and everything like that. I saw this character, and she was the first person I thought of. And was like, <laughs> I haven't seen it. First of all, you know, like we mentioned before, we try to stray away from like the popular characters. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yo, she would really go for this. I'm like, yo, you need to do this. Like, <laughs> I'm <okay. laughs> I, just, I just want to see it. Like, I just, oh, man, that's going to be next on my list. We're going to do a photo shoot. What print? I love it. Yeah. Love it. 
Yeah. Oh no, I'm doing it. It's happening. I bought the first piece. It ain't gonna be nothing but a thing. Let's go. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll have that out by like August or September. Okay. Yes. We're excited. We're excited. Oh man, I reached out to the artist. I said, "Do I have your permission?" He didn't respond. I got left on red, but still, I reached out. <laughs> that means yes. Just do it. That means right. It's like they read it. So they, they acknowledge that, hey, this message has been opened. So that means they saw it. I feel like if they were against it, they would have said something. Exactly. <laughs> that's, yep. that's what I heard. That's what I heard. <laughs> when you do it, you have to message and be like, I did it. <laughs> uh, I did it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything, my love, Shy? Oh no! Yeah. yeah, come on. We want to hear from you. Boo. You 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 want to? Are you want to pass or you want to answer? Yeah, it's okay. I forgot how the question was. <laughs> oh, we we read. We read. Read. <laughs> you want to read? Right, we did. Yeah. I'm sorry. We it's ran. Okay. My bad. No, it's all, it's all good. good. All right. So, have you experienced slash witnessed the accuracy of a cosplay being questioned? due to skin complexion or facial features? Yes, I see it all the time. I had got a little racist comment on my um, vegan cosplay. Somebody comment under there, and instead of vegan, they they put um, niggin as an N-I-N. Oh, oh, heck no. Wow. Tag me in it. I'm ready to go. Yo, yeah. let's go. O'Neal, let's go. Yeah, that's, that's not cool at all. It's, it's not. And um, <laughs> it's, either, it's either like for me, that stuff doesn't really bother me. Like, y'all probably be like, well, what do you mean? It's like I find it funny that y'all like have the nerve to like comic this bullcrap. And right. thinking like this is like ain't nobody gonna say nothing to me. No. And like what I also is I kind of blame society itself. I was on live yesterday with black culture and I was saying to her how it's society. Have y'all ever noticed like growing up, like you know, when Party City and stuff came out and you wanted a costume? Who was modeling the costume? White people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you go to the store and pick out a costume, there's white people along the dang wall. There's no black person <laughs> modeling that costume. Mm -hmm. So I kind of see where they're coming from, but that doesn't give you a right to make, you know, racist comments like, mm -hmm. oh, you know, uh, Wonder Woman should be white, not black. Okay, yeah, understandable. Cause it's like, this is what you see. You turn on the TV, white people. You go to the store and if there's a model, a white person, there's never us. And if there is a black person, they're super, super light with good hair. So there's never like, you know, dark skin or, you know, people that looks like me and you, like there, there's none of that. So I'm just saying, like, I I see where you're coming from, but that doesn't give you the right to make racist comments. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, it doesn't justify it. Yes. Like, I think about, like, they, they get bold nowadays. It's yeah, like, yes. Yes. Part, of you, part of you doesn't even want to, because they're doing that for attention. Mm hmm and it's like part of you doesn't even want to really acknowledge it and then the other part of you just wants to like listen <laughs> what I'm gonna do is come up on my page right. me thinking that it's okay because you're gonna mess with the wrong one on the right day it's not it's not cool man like, like what did what did we do like just here, trying to exist, trying to have a good time. I think they're, I really think, like I said, a lot of it is they, they be hating. They're jealous. Because for real, because me and Christy were talking about it, like, black cosplayers, uh, people of color cosplayers, we add, like, that extra flavor to the cosplay, like, swag, swag to it, for real. And I think they be, they be so jealous of it. Like, this, like, just, like, pause right now, like, like, your hair is blowing, I'm like, 
<laughs> you're not even doing anything. You're just sitting there. It's like, fans off. <laughs> O'Neill sitting there like I hate her. I hate her. I do. I do. But no, <laughs> no, we do. We add that extra swag to the cost. We really do. And I think, like I said, they, they're jealous. Yeah. Yeah, and then it, it just comes naturally, like mm -hmm. just the way, especially like you know, because we have our off days or whatever. But like when we be feeling ourselves, like we be feeling our like you can't yes. tell you nothing. You know? <laughs> uh, what was it NecoCon that just passed when i debuted um kagra oh yeah at NecoCon because her her first debut like her debut debut was <laughs> of last year but like as far as NecoCon went that was the first time you know so i was like i was like yo I'm in a kimono, because you know how Kagura's kimono fits her, like, it's baggy, can't really see nothing, like, the slit is high, because, you know, and then, like, but that's it, like, everything else is just super, like, super baggy or whatever, like, I felt like the baddest bitch up in that kimono. <laughs> you didn't tell me nothing, like, I really was out here, like, no, no, don't put your butt in the camera, because I'm already mad. <laughs> like, you could, I would. <laughs> oh, I seen them. No, you had that. You could have bad B face Where? on. You were serving. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You were serving. <laughs> like, you couldn't tell me nothing. I was in a kimono, and like, thankfully, I got like a, so a size larger um than what was supposed to like fit me properly because i wanted it to be lower because you know she's barefoot but i don't want you to convince barefoot so i had like flip-flops but you couldn't tell because of how low the kimono was i had her earrings i had the magenta eyeliner the purple lipstick like i was <laughs> you could oh my, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> tell me Nothing, man. Like, I was Kagura that day. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, when it comes to cosplays that I've never done before, like, I'll look up, like, a reference. So I binge-watched Inuyasha just to get her mannerisms down and stuff like that or whatever. Um, I, like, looked at her poses that she did in the show and stuff like that. And then I tried looking up other cosplayers but I couldn't find any that looked like us. And then in their photos, they just looked so stiff and like, it wasn't the same. So I was like, the first thing to arrive and that was it. I was like, are we in here? And my friend was Listen. like, you haven't even gotten the rest of the outfit. And I'm like, I said we in here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're right. Like we we add that extra oomph without mm -hmm. even trying. It just it just comes out, you know, when we whether we're in cosplay or out of cosplay, when we be feeling ourselves, like that's it. It's a wrap. Everybody else go home. Like <laughs> shut it down. They got a oh, business. <laughs> exactly. I'm feeling like that, and I ain't even finished it yet. Every single time I try it on, well, I be, I be like six <laughs> inches taller because I be standing up straight. I'm like, let's go. You talking and about like, the one you just did? Huh? You talking about the one you just did? The one you uh, posted? Yeah, and I, I just bought the boots too. I, I wore, um, I bought boots for two reasons. The same pair of boots. One, because I was out there protesting, right? Peacefully. Oh, the one we was walking in up my Black Panther outfit. No, oh, I was screaming my phone. I was like, you better strike up. <laughs> I was out there. <laughs> And my photographer is drip feeding me pictures, right? I'm like, I need a whole thing. <laughs> like, I eat. I need mean, for you, you to do that, you do that on purpose. Barry be doing the same thing. I love Barry to death. Barry, if you listen to this, I love you to death. You're my homie. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they'll be like, <laughs> like it. And I'm just like, yes, can we? Can we see more? Or like, like when he shot me, Uncle Montel, Christy, and Kendra. He did this on purpose. He was like, oh, look at the one I took to Christy. 
Let's do one at the camp. <laughs> and I'm just like, now you know I love them. I love the photo. I love the people in the photos, but where am I? Like, right. this was the first time. I had Sora. Like, I had a prop. Like, don't do this to me, Barry. And he's just like, <laughs> yeah. but you're looking for your photos, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> they do that on purpose. They just be teasing you, like, because there's a couple that I want. I mean, that's not cosplay or anything like that, because I was out there. Okay, I was I was out there, but them boots, like I need to do an update photo because, like I said, I'm literally all details, but I'm trying to get it done. Boy, as soon as I put that thing on and I'm in the house, I'm five foot four and a half, but I bet you I'm six foot that time. <laughs> I bet you I'm all her. Y'all, when she posted that picture, I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> she. <laughs> And in between that time, because I bought a um, I bought a onesie. She was feeling it out. Yo. She was like, I you say with the gold red collar green, but I can see that. That must no, that booty no. So no. <laughs> to any new songs but yeah. I'm still gonna listen to the old <laughs> right. like cut off date you know? right like you cancel now <laughs> yeah. because I would call myself a cow real quick move <laughs> 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 move <laughs> she would be in stream we would be playing the game right she would be like I'm a cow <laughs> 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 and we're like, something on here is move. And I'm like, <laughs> what are you doing, huh? <laughs> oh, Lord, you're funny. I kid you not. I will no move. <laughs> One of her first little emotes on her <laughs> Twitch channel is. Her like a little chibi version of her in a cow suit. Like on <laughs> 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 a milk carton. <laughs> oh my God. But that would that one's actually coincidence because I was talking to my artist. I introduced you to him. Um, yeah. it's uh it's easy for president on Oh easy, yeah. Yeah, Instagram and um Twitter and uh, Twitch, if y'all ever want to check him out, he's the one that's uh, out in, uh, out of commission right now. But um, I used to say to him all the time, because I was on this binge watching phase on Hulu with, who was it? Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, and there's this little character called Cheese, and he'd be like, I like cereal. <laughs> <laughs> I like chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how that one came about but then I continue with move <laughs> <laughs> so random it's like see like with Teresa whenever we stream or whatever it's like she'll say something it's like okay so she she said that because we said this or we were talking about this I'll be in the middle of like okay about to snipe this dude in the face breath control I got this as soon as I take this guy out, we can take the base. Breath control, silence, no. <laughs> I let her know I'm a cow. I don't know. <laughs> I think it was in Wildlands. We rode by a farm and she was like, wait, I want to see if there's a cow. <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, Lord, I'm going. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, don't get horses. <laughs> 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 don't get you in the car. <laughs> like, don't, don't judge me. <laughs> 
my stomach hurt from laughing. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Okay, so that's my answer. <laughs> Sorry. I like it. Did y'all want to add anything else to the last question? Or are y'all ready to move on to the next? Real okay. quick, I do. But okay. go ahead. Okay. 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 So next question. Let's see. Have you experienced slash witnessed someone being body shamed because of body type didn't match the character that they were portraying? Oh, well, shit, I just answered that question in the last question. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. But yes. Yes, I have. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, ironically, since we've been talking about what we see generally in animes, it's never been about, like, cup size or anything like that. It's always been about, you know, maybe, you know, midsection size or something like that. You know what I mean? Just your yeah. overall um, composition or whatever. Um, or if you've been too skinny, I've seen that. Yep. And that's mostly on the men's side. Mm -hmm. yep. I've seen. Um, yeah. That's, that's generally, like, if you're too big for a woman or whatever, if you're too skinny for a man. That's where I see it. And it doesn't matter the race. <laughs> that's that's right. it. gender or whatever. No, it does yeah. Right. Yeah. Um as far as like personal experience for like body type, I've never been like a target of it, but um at this past NecoCon, there was a girl I met. It was her first convention. And um she was like she was like that, that like dark mocha nice like cocoa buttery like love that girl I had her on Instagram and Facebook everything but um she was already super nervous because it was her first convention and then um she was dressed as Spider Gwen and like she had the, the teal blue headphones and everything because she really liked you know Spider Verse and everything like that and she asked me like hey I've never cosplayed before um, how do you pose? How do you do this? You know, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, there's really no right way to pose, but just think about, like, if it's a character, especially from, like, a comic or something, you just do what that character does. Like, as far as, you know, like, Silk, Spider-Gwen, Spider-Man, like, they all pretty much do the same. <laughs> so, like, you see a Spider-Man character, like, posing like this, you can nine times out of ten pose like that too so we taught her some poses and stuff like that and um then like uh her and her boyfriend went to the other side of the convention center and then me and my friends went somewhere else and I saw her again and um <clears throat> I saw her demeanor had changed and I was like oh hey like you know like are you enjoying the convention blah, blah, blah. and she's like well you know like somebody came up to me and told me that I was too like heavy set to be spider Gwen, and i was like what like we don't do that here not my christian minecraft server like we don't what do you mean they told you you were too heavy set to be spider Gwen?" and she was like yeah like i was expecting people to say something that you know along the lines of oh spider Gwen isn't black you know spider Gwen is white why are you a black person cosplaying as a white person um but i wasn't expecting them to like come at me like talking about my like my body like mm -hmm. I wasn't for that. so she was probably one of the first ones I had witnessed like in person I guess you would say um and it was you know with like her her boyfriend and like me and my friends there it was like hey don't worry about it you know they were just probably upset because they have like they don't know how to rock it like you and they probably just mad because they got super fast metabolisms and they can't keep curves anyway so like don't even worry about it like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like we cheered her up and everything but it just sucks that people have to say stuff like that like why yeah. do you feel the need to say stuff like that like yeah. what do you what do you get out of that even if you are one of those like really vindictive like nasty toxic people like you said what you needed to say and then it's like you're you're never gonna see that person again do you just go to bed happy because you're like I made somebody upset today and then like you just move on with your life like 
does that really give substance for you? Like, it's just, I don't get it. Like, why can't you just either, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Right. It doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect your lifestyle, your well-being, or anything like that. Just keep it moving, you know? So that's, like I said, I've never personally been a victim of it, but I've seen other people be targets of it. Right. Not cool. Um, I haven't had any myself only probably because I haven't really been to any cons. This year was going to be my first couple of cons. I was going to go to Blair Con. Um, me and Cliff were going to meet up and everything like that, whoever else in our group was going. But then 2020 was like... But then everything changed when the COVID happened. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> 2020 said, you thought. And then <laughs> <laughs> but um, I while trying to because I bought a, a onesie and then I bought some pants um as my base layer or whatever because I didn't know how to sew all of that yet and I have a general idea I just haven't been practice yet to do that so my next one will be on me hopefully but while I was taking the 360 photos to upload I was looking at my back and I had a couple of rolls back there and I was like that gotta go. So, I, and all the comments from everybody on my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever I posted it, was pretty much mostly about my butt. Thank you, Coop. But it's it wasn't about the stuff that I was looking at. So I, I think I'm more harsh on myself. And the weird thing is, is that this character is my own character. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, so like set for you or anything, right? So I found myself being literally my own critic or whatever, and nobody else says the things that I'm saying in my head. So I got like you know a little red devil and the angel, you know, talking about you need to do something about that, girl. Ain't nobody talking about it. You good in your body, you know? <laughs> <laughs> So it's a whole battle. I like I body shame myself pretty much. Yeah, I, I can definitely for a character that's not real. That. Yeah, <laughs> I crazy. I'm I'll admit, like if anything, like I hmm, I do it to myself. Uh like I'll I'll edit like my own pictures. Oh. Like if there's like a crease in my makeup. Or if like, if I wear like a body shaper underneath like my silk suit, like if it's a body suit, like silk or shigo and it covers like my midsection because, you know, let's, let's face it, I ain't got the body that I had when I was fresh out of boot camp, you know, cause we were, ooh, <laughs> I remember me and O'Neal, we were in the latrine, we were in the bathroom, right? And we had like our sports bras on and like our uniform pants, we were like, ooh. I don't remember when they got there. I was like, what did this ha What week was this? <laughs> like it transformed. <laughs> hey, let me see and I was like, girl, you can do laundry off of our hands right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what week do we get these? Was this an issue? <laughs> we, was, we was in there. Like, yeah, we ain't, we, we gonna get there again. But right now, Right now, not here. But um, yeah, I would wear, you know, like body shapers and stuff like that, just to like make sure, you know, when I'm like in cosplay or anything like that. But then if I do one, like Tifa, obviously shows her midsection. The mm -hmm. dark Supergirl I have also shows her midsection, cause like in the comics and stuff she shows her midsection but like in the the um cw like tv show and stuff like that she has like the regular like the full suit and stuff but i'm like i gotta and a dude we gotta photoshop something somewhere because mm -hmm. oh gosh and there'll be some no. days where i'll put the unedited version because i'm like you know what I'm too lazy. I don't feel like it, but I really want to post this cosplay. So we'll just, we'll just see how it goes. And I'll get so much positive feedback. And, you know, like you said, O'Neal, nobody's focusing on the stuff you were focusing on. And you're mm -hmm. like, oh, 
oh, okay, cool. But then I also have those days where it's like, no one is going to see this picture until I ran this same picture through like four different editing apps and no one will ever know. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, as far as, as far as that goes, I would say like, I am also like my own worst critic. Like, mm -hmm. I do that. That's that's me. I'm getting better because, like I said, I'm posting more unedited versions. Um, same thing with streaming. Like it used to be, whenever I saw myself on camera, I'm like, I have to have my face beat. Like I have to wear makeup. And then there would be days where it's like, you know, it's late. No one's really gonna be on, but I need to get the stream time in so I can, you know, like keep my my uh like streaming numbers up like for my duration and stuff like that or whatever and then people join and it's like oh wow nobody is really here because of like my face no one's really they're here for the game we talk about the game they have questions about the game or whatever and i'll answer them and like we just hang out and chat and so like i have more days where i don't wear makeup while i'm streaming and so I'm, I'm slowly getting better when it comes to me like seeing myself and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I edit my photos sometimes and sometimes I feel like I shouldn't stream unless I have makeup on, so. I completely, like, I feel like even right now, I'm gonna admit that I don't like how I look on camera unless I have my invisible on it. Like, I don't care how straight my teeth are, I don't like it. And I'm wearing them right now. So, so it's still another critic thing, you know, that nobody's probably actually paying attention to, but you are. It's, it's, right. But it's probably uh, images that have been ingrained in your head because of all the. Right. Yeah. Right? They all are picture perfect already. You know? <laughs> and so but you never really saw any flaws. Like, you have to have clear skin. You have to have no stretch marks. You know, like you have to be disproportionate and this, that, and the third. And it's like, okay, oh well. Um, this is <laughs> not good for mental health, by the way. But uh, <laughs> yeah, anybody evil or bad had marks on their face or yeah. like darker, like a cloudier complexion or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So, and you know like hyperpigmentation and stuff like that or whatever like yeah they were bad you know <laughs> or poor or whatever the case may be but they weren't like the protagonist of the whole entire series you know like the blue, yeah. blue yellow <laughs> like the main <laughs> character and if they were a main character they were never the good guy mm. oh i feel that too what you got my shy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got to forget about me. <laughs> I was just Remember. Did you? I I agree with you on like with the whole like body type stuff because I just feel like I get in my own way because of my body type. It may look like I have hips, but I don't have hips. So I like try to like, you know, uh, toot and point and argue. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta know your angles. You know, you like I have it, but I don't. And it like, it makes me upset because like the question that was asked was when, um, about like female characters and the body type, it just, it's a hurtful feeling that you got to look a certain way just to gain attention. And, yeah. and I, I find myself doing it. I have no shame. I just be like, oh, that's me. And it's like, oh, that's me. It's like, yeah, that's not really me. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. but, just, but like I said, it's just a, it's a hurtful feeling with the whole the, the body type. And, if there was more different body types in cartoons, videos, yeah. movies, all that, then maybe we would feel a little better about ourselves and just straight out and just, you know, do our pictures, do our cosplays without, like, you know, making it seem like we got something when, you know, deep down we're hurting. Yeah. That's, that's how I feel. And then, like, same thing with, uh, even like growing up 
and going to the mall and walking past Victoria's Secret and you see these giant posters yes. of like these super, super uber skinny chicks and you would see all the way down to like their fourth rib. Yes. <laughs> on the rib set. And it's like, you're not, you're not paying attention to, that looks very unhealthy. Um, right. I'm glad I don't look like that. It's like, wow, like, she's pretty like she's got a pretty face or whatever that's all you pay attention to so you're like you see their face and you you associate that with you know like oh she's pretty you associate this with prettiness this is how she's pretty this is what makes her pretty all of this makes her pretty therefore pretty equals skinny mm -hmm. and that's that's what you're subconsciously exposed to and taught growing up and nobody corrects you so it's like okay this is my way of thinking and everyone just kind of goes with it and you're like okay i feel like if this was wrong somebody would have addressed it so i'm just gonna keep this way of thinking and keep going like i'm still going i'm in my teens now like i'm still i still think this way is everybody okay with that no objections all right we're moving into our late teens early 20s i still have this state of mind this is, is this still okay? This is still okay because nobody's saying anything. We're just going to keep on going. And then we're in our, you know, our mid twenties, late twenties, early thirties. And we're like, wait a minute. That was wrong. That was, <laughs> that was, that was very toxic. Why did nobody stop me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I've just had a conversation. I've just had a conversation with uh, my boyfriend's niece. We were keeping her for a couple of days uh, while her brother, uh, his brother was, um, going through some stuff right and we were watching music videos or whatever and we got to the artist Kim Lamar, and we were watching the humble video right and on all the other videos we were watching she was looking like oh she's pretty oh she's pretty she has nice hair blah blah blah, blah. so we got to the part where you know it was the girl who was like modeling and stuff like that and you know um in that video he has like a, a line down the side and there's like one that's like instagram model and the other side is what she actually looks like or whatever it's like turning off the filter like it's like yeah. a it's like filter thing so she was right here instagram oh she's pretty oh she's pretty then he has a line that goes show me something natural like you know that was and then show me something natural. Hey, can I cuss on here? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just quote it. So show me something natural with ass with some stretch marks, and so you had the butt, right? She was like, okay, you know, it was Instagram butt, and then she went over here to natural butt, and then had the stretch marks, you know, like everybody else does. She was like, oh, that's not pretty. I said, if you think that's not pretty, then you're not listening to the lyrics. <laughs> He literally just, you know, so, so I had to educate her on that. She's nine, about to be ten, or whatever. So I guess instead of going in her thirties, you know, that's something wrong. We had so many conversations. She's uh, mixed, uh, white and black, mostly black. Her dad is white and black. Her mom is all black, but she has like the prettiest hair, or whatever, right? Like, uh, and her hair is so heat damaged. So, so she probably has to cut her hair line short to get rid of all the heat damage, really. But she's in that phase, and I went through it too, where I wanted the heat damage because my hair was straight, you know. And so she's in that phase, and I'm trying to like it, it's a battle between, especially because I'm not a parent, between letting them just go through that phase or talking them out of it. So I just give you a little bit of education, you know, hearing this. So I'm not preachy, but yeah. I'm still telling you that you're wrong. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. It's like a struggle between teaching them the life lesson or letting them learn it themselves. Yeah. I struggle with that frequently with my sister who just turned 17. Lord Jesus, she's driving now. But, um, <laughs> but like, you know, like I said, when it came to, you know, like the, the beauty standards, like you have to look like this to be attractive and then being like having two different cultures in our house, you know, like you have, you have dad's side of the family and you have like all of my cousins, like the females on dad's side of the family, they got, they got figures, like they, they 
nice, you know? And then you got <laughs> mom's side of the family, they're like slim. They look very like petite and like very, you know, and then you have me and Caitlin and we're in the middle. So it's like, where do we, yeah, what do we do? Where do we go? <laughs> you know, and then when it comes to like, there's a, like, it's not all of them, you know, but it's, it's enough of them where there's, there's enough of like Filipino people that my mom hangs around and they have this thing where it's like, they'll marry other Filipinos or other Asians or they'll marry like a white person. And so when they have kids, the Asian genes, you can still see, like even if they're, you know, Filipino and Japanese, Filipino, Korean, or white and Filipino or full Filipino, they still look Filipino. But then you have, you know, my sister and I, and then like our three, four friends that are also black and Filipino and daddy's genes be strong. Like, <laughs> Like the way, the way our bodies are, our complexion, our hair texture, we'll go swimming with like the giant, like Filipino community thingy that we have or whatever. We'll go swimming and Caitlin and I will walk out of the pool, like, you know, with the, the natural curls and everything. And they're like, what did you put in your hair to make it curly? And we're like, water. <laughs> <laughs> you see our dad, he comes to these events, he comes to the galas and stuff like that. Like, you see... You see our dad. You know who our dad is. Like, don't, don't ask dumb questions. Like, <laughs> yeah. and, and then um, when I did my first uh, pageant back in October for um, like the Filipino festival, Miss Phil Fest or whatever, um, we were taking pictures, and the way we were taking the pictures on stage, um, somebody was complaining that uh, like the lighting was weird and all this other stuff, and then somebody said, um, you know, I gotta change angles because you know, the light is reflecting off of Shonalyn's glasses. And so they were perfectly fine with them adjusting themselves. But the, the, um, the Filipino lady, the Dita that was running the, the whole pageant, she was like, oh, well, can you just take off your glasses? And I'm like, I've had glasses since I was eight. I can't see without my glasses. Like, <laughs> but you want us to read off of stuff and everything like that. And I'm nearsighted. So like, this is, as far as I can go without help, I need my spectacles. And oh, you're good. So she, <laughs> she was, I could tell she was getting frustrated, and she was like, "Well, you know, beauty pageant winners, they don't." And I was like, "They don't what? They don't wear glasses. They have perfect vision. Like, what, what were you? What were you gonna say?" And she's like, "Oh, well, you know, never mind. He's gonna he's gonna change, you know, what he needs to change to take the picture." And I'm just like, "Wow, like they're just glasses, yo, like." I can't see. Like, <laughs> <laughs> my don't wear glasses. Like, um, I know, you know plenty of women that have won pageants that are also impaired when it comes to their eyes. Like, <laughs> yeah. like get out of here with that, you know? Or they'll be like, um, like for one day, I wore my hair with my natural curls, which I rarely do because I don't know how to wear my curls sometimes. I don't I just want to figure it out. My hairstylist is helping me. But um, I wore my curls, and she was complaining about the way, because we were trying on our tiaras, and she was complaining about pretty much how big my hair was. Like, the tiara fit mm. fine, like, fit perfectly, but she was complaining that she couldn't, like, adjust it or whatever, and I'm like, well, I mean, I would adjust it because I know how to adjust it because it's, I don't know, my head. <laughs> right. And she was like, well you know, can you, like, your hair, can I do what with my hair? Can I, can I do what, what do you want me to do with my hair, Dita? Hmm? Ano yung problema? What do you need me to do with my hair, Dita? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, well, as long as we can, you know, keep it, like, the tiara there, and it's not going anywhere. I promise you, with these thick kinks in there, then it's not going nowhere. Until I take it out and move it, it's good. The wig is <laughs> business. And mine would be like, oh, good. Y'all good? Because I'm good. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, just, just standards across the board. It's just... Uh, <laughs> 
I was. What, what happened? Pause for a second. Oh, okay. There we go. I, I remember I was two or three years old, and um, I was two or three years old, and I was watching TV, and I told my mother out of the blue, she was still in college, right? She had me, like, right in between college and high school, and uh, she had me, and we were watching TV, and I looked at her, and I said, Mommy, I want to be white. And she was like, why, why you say that? I said, because that's all you see on the commercials. I said, and I remember the specific commercial that made me say it. It was like a, a, a Maybelline commercial. <laughs> and so I remember that's so, she was like, that's a shame if a two, three year old, I can't remember how old I was. But it was either two or three. You can recognize that. <laughs> that's yeah. a shame. But I got out of that face. Don't worry about it. I'm good. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. It's it's common too because I I have friends that have said that you know like oh I wish I wish I was born white because I would have to deal with this that and the third. There were times where like growing up, Caitlin and I would be like you know like we're happy that we have the parents we had, but I wish I had a little bit more of mom's genes because of you know whatever. Like we no longer feel that way, but as young kids it's like wow i wish i wish i was this but then on the other hand i have cousins that won't even speak to me because i'm the only mixed grandkid like caitlin and i are the only mixed grandkids and oh, wow just differently because we're mixed they're like oh she thinks she's better than everybody else because you know like she doesn't have nappy hair and i'm like oh no i have I have. <laughs> it's oh, like, when I tell you, daddy, 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 wrong. I just take care of my hair, you know, like, and it was like, there would be times where I'm like, man, like, I wish I had more of dad's genes because maybe dad's side of the family would accept me more. But, you know, like, thinking that way as a kid, you know, once again, that's going back to the toxicity. Like, that's a toxic way of thinking. That's a toxic mentality. Like, I haven't done anything except exist. And, we're family and we're supposed to love and care and support about each other, but you don't like me because of all of our aunts and uncles. Like as far as the siblings go, my dad's the only one that married outside of his race and had mixed babies. So it's my fault that I'm mixed and that dad had mixed babies. Like, what <laughs> doesn't make any sense to me. So yeah, I I've had identity issues with that you know, growing up too, but now, like, I'm, I'm good, and I'm, I'm perfectly fine with being, you know, a mixture of fried rice and fried chicken, I can, I can dig it, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving, <laughs> that is, I, I, oh, speaking of family, when y'all cosplay, do you have the support of your family, most, I'm talking about mostly, like, Maybe from like grandma down, whoever's like the higher or the you know the higher oh, tier family from the, them down, like the older generation and down. Yeah, because um, from my great grandmother down is what I call it. You know. But. Okay. Well, for me, um, my great grandmother passed away when I was eleven. Um, my dad's mom passed away when I was four. So the the grandparents I knew the like the most were my mom's parents because. Uh, they passed away last year. I think you met them because they came to our BNT graduation. But um, what was it? Uh, they were huge into it because my mom was into, you know, like Hello Kitty and stuff growing up. <laughs> and then they would come to the States or when I would go visit them, I always had like something anime related. So they knew what I was all about because I've been about it like my whole life. So like we would, we went to the Philippines when I was eight years old. And I had an Ash Ketchum hat that I wore all the time. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I, had, I had little pigtails and then I had my Ash Ketchum hat and I had a stuffed Pikachu that like I went everywhere with. <laughs> so, you know, when they came to the States when I was 15, it was cool because I got to show them because they came to me. You know, so I showed them all the stuff in my room. They watched anime and stuff with me. Like they watched me and Caitlin play video games. So they were super supportive when it came, like, my Lolo, my grandpa, it was all confusing to him, but, like, after a while, he was like, oh, okay, like, I get it, you know, my Lola, <laughs> like, 
she was all about it. She was like, oh, with this, oh, with that. And I'm like, oh, that's this and this and this. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty dope. Um, with my mom, you know, like I said, she grew up with uh, like Hello Kitty and stuff. And then while she was pregnant with me, she played a lot of like Mario games. And so, like, the oh. is the reason why I'm a gamer is because my mom played video games while she was pregnant with me. Oh. <laughs> played video games when she was pregnant with Caitlin. That's why Caitlin's not really into, like, gaming and stuff. And then, um, you know, dad's the one that got me into, like, anime, video games, and comics and stuff like that. So, like, I was born from nerds. So, like, I had that direct line of support. You know, it's different because their extent was just the games or just the shows or just the comics and then when I told them about like cosplaying and stuff and they were like oh like what like what is it what do you do you know like is it gonna cost me a lot of money like <laughs> <laughs> and so it was like um I told them I was like think of it as like when we go Halloween costume shopping it's like that but there's no like special occasion or holiday like Halloween it's just oh, we're cosplaying, or there's a convention, you cosplay at that convention, so, um, my dad was huge into, like, fighting games, like, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, so when I did, like, a, uh, like, a casual Chun-Li cosplay, and then I grew up doing martial arts, too, so being a gamer and playing fighting games and being a martial artist, I'm like, yo, I know how to do this stuff, so, <laughs> because they did martial arts, too, so it was, like, a family thing, and my mom is, like, taking pictures, and I'm doing this stuff, and my dad's like, I'm just happy to be here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> but, um, I think the only, like, part of the family that doesn't really support it, um, whether they get it or not, is my dad's side of the family, because they're, like, they're one of those, like, you're too old to be playing dress up or you're too old to be still playing video games or something like that. I'm like, I do this because it makes me happy and I've met a lot of really dope people that also like to do it. Right. And then when it comes to video games, like I've been playing video games like since I was still in the womb. Like I count that as I was playing video games because mom was playing video games. But here, <laughs> I <am> now, <laughs> here I am now at almost 29 years old and I make money off of playing video games. Like. If you would have told me when I was eight years old, like, hey, so this hobby thing you're doing, like, keep doing this, kid, because you're going to be making, like, money playing <laughs> video games. All you have to do is just play the video game. Like, just, just play, and you get paid. And like, what? <laughs> <laughs> when I first got Twitch affiliate, I remember we, we had, like, family dinner or whatever, and I was thinking, like, yo, how am I going to tell my parents? Like, because they know I still play video games and stuff like that. But to be able to tell them, like, hey, so I make money playing off of video, like, playing video games now. And they were like, what? And so I had to explain to them how Twitch and stuff like that works and everything like that. And I showed them, because when you get affiliated, um, Twitch sends you, like, this tax form that you have to fill out because you're going to be making money. And so I showed my parents this tax form, and my mom was like, <laughs> and then my dad's like, you don't even know what you're bringing. Hang on, give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> my mom, she's just like really hype and really excited because I'm hype and excited. She doesn't even know what's going on. She's just like, oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> and my dad's like, let's see the fine print. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, when you do your taxes, this is what you got to bring. I'm like, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I, I read it too. He's like, okay, I just want want to make sure. You <laughs> So I made sure you were tracking too, because I this is what I read and deducted and absorbed. So I just wanted to make sure you also. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it was it was really dope. Like, hey, like thanks for bringing me into this. I now like not only enjoy doing it still, but now I have a source of income that comes from it. Like, how many people can say that their hobby makes them money? Like, what? So I just I can say that. You know, those are just, <laughs> I have a source of income where I just, so, but yeah, the only, only ones are just that side of the family that they just don't get it, or they have that mentality where it's like, you're too old to be doing this. But no, the family in the Philippines, 
they're into, they know about cosplay and stuff like that, like my cousins overseas, um, I got cousins in Japan because they moved from the Philippines to Japan or moved from the Philippines to South Korea or whatever, so they're really familiar with it too. And uh, just having support from them, and I haven't seen them in like 20 years. And they're like, oh, oh wow. my God, did you do that? So like, I'll send them pictures and I'm like, oh my God. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really thankful that, you know, I have the support system that I have when it comes to family. Good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll move on to the next question. Okay. We've got, we got two more questions. Oh, she didn't answer. I know it was a question from Shay, but what? she didn't answer um, the family thing. Like, if you have family that supports you, yeah. yeah. We want everybody to talk if they feel comfortable. It's you. Sorry, I'm about to sneeze. It's coming. I promise. Look <laughs> up. Try looking at I know, right? <laughs> well, my mom, I don't know how my dad's side feels. I don't know. But, like, my whole entire family is, like, prestigious. Like, everybody has a master's or above. Except for me. I went to Milton. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, we ain't got no sick Exactly. So I, but on my mom's side, at least I can only speak for them because that's all I know. They, I think they're more excited for the creativity side because I do the sewing and you know I could see something and I'm starting to like put it together like I'm making earrings. <laughs> I made a mohawk wig. You know what I mean? They're excited for the creativity side. I don't know if they're really excited for the cosplay itself, but they're excited that I'm. Probably because it reminds them of my late great grandmother who passed when I was 26 and I'm 29 now, so I have a vivid memory of her. Mm -hmm. um, but I like when dealing with other Black people, it's not Black people stuff. If yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Cosplaying, watching anime isn't Black people stuff. You know, yeah. and I'm like, where's this book that you're reading? Out? Right. <laughs> right. Okay. We can only do these things. Like, nope, that's that's that white people stuff. Don't be doing that. Bring it back. Bring it back. Like, but it's by the Japanese. Nope, bring it back. Right. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's crazy because we we do have the stipulation in our community that we have to stick within this stay in our lane you know uh -huh. or else we're not black <laughs> yeah but i'm like i know where i came from my dad darker than all of y'all <laughs> i'm half light skin half dark skin is what i like to think but um, <laughs> but no it, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> Exactly. But if I make money off of my um, hobbies and selling and stuff like that, which I'm trying to start like a tutorial YouTube, they're even more excited yeah. about it. Yeah. You, you know, but it's more so the creativity and not necessarily the possible itself. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I guess that's what they're excited for. But my dad's side, well, my grandparents, they'll probably be like, if you don't go get a doctor's degree real quick <laughs> i'm gonna need for you to be a lawyer in two years like, like, that was cool and everything but like when you going to school <laughs> <laughs> no literally literally i'll probably say it in some big ass words i never heard of before so <laughs> no. what about you shy Oh, well, my mom, she actually told me about cosplaying, so she's my, she's my supporter. She, um, Yay. Yeah, she, she tells me, like, she tells me so much, like, literally every day is like, oh, you should do this. You should do that. You got to go. <laughs> so, yeah. She should be on here, too. <laughs> okay. What's that? I said, she should be on here, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, that's that's my um that's my main one. Um, I guess my siblings are 
okay with it. I mean, I don't know. They 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 say that it looks nice, but it's not like it's not like how my mom be like, yeah, that's real good. They they don't they don't care about it, but it's it's mostly my mom. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's a support system. Yeah, Even if it's just one person. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, like uh, like Caitlin, she's she's not really into cosplay as much, but like, she's she watches anime. I I convinced her to watch Assassination Classroom, and I was like, just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna cry, you gonna cry like you ain't never cried before. <laughs> I ain't done yet, Sean. <laughs> oh God, now I know it's coming. What's coming? I just know something's coming. <laughs> and so she finished it. And she messaged me. We, we call each other bro or like brother or like like Drake and Josh. So how do you brother? Or like broski or bro hammer or whatever. Like we don't, we never really call each other sister. It's just, it's always bro something. And so she messaged me at like two o'clock in the morning and she was like, bro, I just finished Assassination Classroom. And I was like, well, did you now? And she was like, well, actually, I finished it like an hour ago. I've just been crying this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> She's watched, uh, she's watched stuff like, um, you know, like Young Justice, and because I got her into Teen Titans when, you know, we were younger, and like Teen Titans first like came out like on Cartoon Network and stuff like that, and um, she wants to cosplay as, uh, what's her name, um, off of Attack on Titan, starts with an M. Oh, a chick with a sword. Yeah, she wants to cosplay as her. So I was like, oh, that's dope that she want to do that. Like, she's like, if I do it, like, it's cool. But if I don't, like, that'll also be cool. She's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, my God, can you buy this for me? But it's just like, hey, it's so like, I mean, if you want to buy it for me, like, it's cool. If you don't want to buy it for me, like, it's cool, too. And I'm like, do you want it or not? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy it for you. Just like, she's like, I mean, it is what it is. And I'm like, you Gen Z are like, <laughs> <laughs> But we wanted to do a uh, a Blackfire and Starfire cosplay. Oh, so, yeah. that's cute. Cute. Yeah. We might we might do something like that. Like do a we'll figure it out. But and then, you know, either that or like a like a Batman and Robin because one of the first video games I had her play was the Lego Batman, and so like I played as Batman, and she played as Robin because he got like all the cool like costumes and stuff like that and she was like oh, I'm in a little plastic ball and I can run around like hamsters so she was just be like <laughs> <laughs> and she was running around and do stuff so I would say like she's like the Robin to my Batman and so like I'd always whenever we post pictures of each other I'll put like a bat and then a little chick <laughs> Aww. so she wants to get into cosplaying but not like I need to do this now. It's just like, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I'm Gucci. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Aww. So cute. <laughs> I to see that. <laughs> okay. I guess, did we, did we want to touch on anything else? Or we move on to the next question? Oh, no, I think that was it. Okay. We good? Okay. We good? Okay. All right. And this is kind of similar to the other questions, but um, are there any cosplays that you haven't done for fear of being body shamed? Um, I've been really hesitant on this cosplay for like years because it's it's Riku from Final Fantasy X-2. Mm-hmm. So in Final Fantasy X, she has like this sleeveless like shirt type thing. She's more like covered up, mm-hmm. but then like in Ten Two, it's like a mini skirt, a bikini top. Like it's a lot of it's a lot of skin, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was like, I want to do it, but I got a really Oh, do I want to do it? Like, I want to do it. Do I want to do it? Yes, you want to do it. I'm like, ah. <laughs> and then same thing with um, Psylocke from X-Men. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would have been good. So, uh, like, I like everything, but I'm not super comfortable with the backside. 
Mm -hmm. And I feel like that, like my whole life when it came to just swimsuits, like I hated the bikini style swimsuit. I'm like, when it came to swimsuits, it was boy shorts, like the shorts, I had that. And at first it was like the sports bra type tops, but then I was fine with like the bikini type tops or whatever. As long as I had the shorts, like we were, I was good. So like I'm hesitant on Riku, I'm hesitant on Psylocke, um, my friend Dom pretty much like peer pressured me into getting um, Maruko from My Hero Academia because she's got the same like, I was like, oh my god, I'll do it, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> if I'll ever wear her to a convention because too much, too much, man. Like, I don't, I don't know, we'll see if I can like, somehow like finagle some shorts up there or something but like <laughs> if it's anything that has to do with revealing that much skin or like that area it's really I'm really hesitant on it because I don't have like the body type that I see a lot of girls that do those characters have and it's like oh and then you can tell they're super confident about it too they're like yeah I got a Brazilian wax yesterday before I put this on, and I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've had, like, twice in my life, and, like, they were cool because it was, like, before swimming. I mean, so, like, I get it, but at the same time, it's like, <sighs> oh, if I can, I mean, it's, on, it's on the list, okay? At least I put it on the list. <laughs> but, yeah, for me, it's the super revealing ones, and I'm just, like, like, I'm, I'm comfortable with baggy clothes. Like, I'm almost always in baggy clothes. And I'm just, like, like, I'm comfortable in baggy clothes. Just, like, I'm comfortable in, like, gowns and dresses and stuff. But when it comes to that kind of clothing, it's just, like, I'm going to do everybody else that I want to do first. And then maybe we'll get to them. <laughs> I've been wanting to do Domino. now. But she got her stomach out. Wait, who was it? I didn't hear. Who was it? Domino. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I've been wanting to do her. Um, yeah. And I think that I could I could body her, maybe. You could, like, just be like, Pah. But, like, I need to do them sit-ups we've been talking about since February. You know? <laughs> so that's why as we just need to go and do basic all over again but just the PT part <laughs> <laughs> just the PT part but uh, I put on my channel points on my chocolate milk channel points um, I have sit ups and squats on there and the last stream because sometimes I cosplay stream my cosplay creation mm -hmm. I didn't get no work done that day it was just like sit ups Squats, squats, <laughs> sit up. So I'm saying, can I work, please? But <laughs> that next day, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm liking it. So, like, I use that to help, I guess. <laughs> and plus, people like to see me suffer. So, I always like to see my favorite streamer do stuff you want them to do. I'm nobody's favorite streamer, but you know what I mean. If you're watching me at that moment, I'm your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can agree with that. Like, hey, I don't know how you found my channel, but welcome to my channel. I'm Sly Cooper 711, and I put the Shein shenanigans. Stick around, you can laugh about something. Like, <laughs> exactly. exactly. I'm no randomly. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> it throws me off. Like, <laughs> but, but, there's actually plenty that I've seen. I'm like, ooh, ooh. Ooh, but then they the only thing they have is like maybe a bra with like the little X's underneath. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I want to do it, but I'm like, Ugh. I don't want to see my stomach hanging over my pants. I don't want my back rolls to be swallowing up my top. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. None of that. No, let's just stick with the fully clothed people. <laughs> Or like, like for me, like with my body suits, I'm like, I don't know who to bring, cause I'll get like invited to stuff or whatever, and they're like, oh, you should go to this, and I'm like, I can see you. Okay, who are we gonna dress up at? Oh, you can pick silk. <laughs> <laughs> the least amount of work 
and I only have to do half my face with makeup. Like, <laughs> and it's a bodysuit. I can wear stuff underneath and then just zip it up in the back, and then I have my gloves and then the mask, and I'm ready to go. Like, you don't need to see me what's good. Like, <laughs> or Kagra because it's a baggy kimono, and I'm like, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, I know I felt that. And then like like when Caitlin proposed the whole like Starfire and Blackfire thing, I was like, I'm gonna be Blackfire because Blackfire was the oldest and I'm the oldest. I wanted to be Blackfire because her stomach isn't out. Like <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> let's let's be real here. Like <laughs> I just used that as an argument because you Y'all the big sisters. We're like, yes, here is a logical explanation explaining why I said the thing that I said and I stand by it. I will die on this hill. Y'all know that's not what I meant like, at all, but that was. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like Starfire is the little sister, and since you're the little sister, you're going to be Starfire. And she's like, okay. And I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> like that was easy. <laughs> that is. You know, she has, like, the, the shiny, like, oil-looking stuff, and I'm just like, there's nothing. I'm still in the skirt, but she's got, like, the leggings that, like, come all the way up here. Like, I'm good. Like, Caitlin, she she works out. Like, she does her little at-home workout. She's got, you know, she's good. So she's like, oh, I have to show my stomach. That's fine. And I'm like, I like how there's no hesitation. She was just like, oh, my stomach's going to be out. Cool. Like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> nice to still have a fast metabolism and a body that doesn't hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can relate to that. So <laughs> oh. what about you? Yeah, she either that or my mother will be yelling at me. Huh? Other question did you want to answer, Shy? Oh, um, I just feel like when it um when it like comes to body types, I kind of I just get so like scared, especially like when I had did my Maleficent. You can see like the the stomach in the dress, and I'm just like, oh my god! You look good, no, no, no. So fire, yes, fire. I was, I was like, the <laughs> I, was, I was just saying, like maybe the real Maleficent would like beat my beat my ass because I don't look like how she looked, and it's just I don't know. But I do try to just do characters that I think like, okay, I know this one, I'm going to do it. But far as like when it's body type, I uh. I, I kind of got the hang of like where to hide things and stuff so it won't show. But but like when you see like girls go to Comic Con and then like they do the like the the bot the um the swimsuit cosplay, I'd be like, man, oh my god, I wish that was me. <laughs> I could never like <laughs> Like I, I want to do those cosplays, but uh, it, it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> I think also living in America makes it hard. Oh yeah, that's it. We got some fatty foods, and they're so yeah. a lot of them is good. But like, if you go <laughs> all the cheaper too. Like the healthy food is more expensive than yeah. the unhealthy, food, which yeah. is like opposite in a lot of other countries like you gotta like oh you want to eat unhealthy you gonna pay for it in more ways than one run me that <laughs> <laughs> it's already hard enough to eat brussels sprouts over chicken nuggets <laughs> Are you my pockets? and then on top of it you have like the beauty standards that have already been set in stone yeah by whatever country like here i'm what i'm five six and I'm like 162. Like I'm I'm considered overweight because I'm 28 and I'm 5'6 and I'm 162. Like according to the little BMI chart of the US, I'm considered overweight. Teresa, who's only like a couple pounds like different than me, she's considered obese. And I'm like, but you're shorter. Like that works differently because you gotta take into consideration the height. Plus, like, muscle weighs more than fat. So, like, 
if you were in shape and you were toned and everything, you would still technically be overweight because of just the weight. Like we're not going to pay attention to like the the body fat percentage. We're not going to talk about like the BMI breakdown. It's like, nope, this is what you weigh. You're fat. I'm like, what? <laughs> Which is the standard it's set by white well. women too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then like I looked up um I looked up like what the healthy like standard is in like the Philippines. I'm considered like a perfect healthy weight in the Philippines. And I'm like, but here I'm not but like yeah. but here. <laughs> <laughs> you remember uh, Callahan? She went in for her PT test. You know, they do the circumference, the height, weight, and all of that. Yeah. And she was mostly muscle working out. And the lady was checking off. Okay, I forgot how tall she is. So let's just say like 5'7". She's about that height. Or whatever. And she was uh, up there because there's like weight limits and military. And yeah. she was over it. But it was, look at her. She's clearly muscle. And she was like, yeah. yeah, no, you're good. Like, of course you're over your BMI, but you have to <laughs> like, what are you gonna do? Like, yeah, I think body fat percentage is more important than BMI or the uh, weight number. Body yeah. fat percentage. Mm -hmm. Now I'm still over. Don't get me wrong. I'm still over. <laughs> when they have to do the abdominal circumference, but like, you just have people that, like the way they're built, they're gonna break that number. But mm -hmm. they can actually do the PT test. They can you know, run the run with no issue. They can knock out the push-ups like they're nothing. They can do the sit-ups like they're nothing. But it's that waist measurement. And I'm like, why do we, why, if they make the uniforms in that size, you should be fine. It shouldn't be like, okay, so the United States Air Force has to make you custom uniforms because of the way you're built. Like, that doesn't, that shouldn't be a factor. <laughs> it's fine. It's like, it's dumb, like. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like if I move in almost anywhere else, I'll probably drop weight like that. But Uber oh. Eats, we we in a relationship. Okay? <laughs> Uber Eats are go together. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. That's that be in order. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's like I have my groceries delivered, you know, like I make my grocery list and just like have a bunch of groceries delivered and it's all healthy. You know, I'd be proud of myself and I don't want nothing in that fridge. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm going to meal prep again. Let me order the stuff that I normally use to meal prep and I'm going to actually eat it. Like I'm good, I'm ready. And then as soon as I put the groceries away, I'm like, I don't want a damn thing in this bridge. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I don't want none of this. Oh. I want some wontons. Give me some. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to make this, so I got to order. Oh, you, you charge because only got only ordered this much? That means I got to order more so that you don't charge me more? Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> and then you find out they have subscriptions and they take off like the delivery fee and like all this other stuff and you subscribe and it's pretty much the same amount that you would be paying anyway. And I was like, oh, well, you know, I mean, it's like, yeah, it's like I'm not going to just be like, I tried deleting it. it. It keeps popping up on my phone. I don't know how to. <laughs> like, I ain't going nowhere. Man, like, it's just. I the bug in the mix. Broke the matrix. I don't know. Delete it. It shows up. It's got all my information already there. Like, right, <laughs> right here. Oh my God. I don't know how to do it. Order Krispy Kreme. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Facebook, Facebook don't help either because they got them ads. I went to go get some donuts because they had a Christmas cream ad. Oh, like, no. oh that's so good. We <laughs> also deliver. Don't tell me that. Don't you? Don't you say those things? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, did anybody else have anything else they wanted to say 
in regards to that question? Yep. No. No? No. Last question. Okay. So last question. So what do you think needs to happen to confront colorism and body shaming from happening in the future? Will these things ever go away? Um, I feel like I feel like we can hope and wish and do everything we can in our power to help try to control the issue, but it's just like racism. Like, at the end of the day, whether we like it or not, racism is in this country's DNA. Right. We are always going to have to deal with it. It's just the, the small steps that are being taken to provide consequences to those racist acts, that's a step in the right direction. Mm-hmm. So, like, people can't just be like, you know, you're walking down the street one day and you call the N-word in the grocery store or something. And you're just like, hold up. Like, I just came to buy milk. Like, can I just <laughs> get <my> milk? Like, <laughs> like, you know, and then um, also even just not even thinking about, you know, like just the black community separate from the white community and the Asian community, Hispanic community, whatever the case may be. Within the black community, we have our own issues because within the black community, you have team white skin, mm-hmm. team dark skin, and then the mixed kids, the ones who aren't black enough to count unless there's an outer racial war going on where it's like, oh, all of a sudden I'm no longer half black, half Filipino. I'm black enough to count to be like, oh, you're one of us because we're fighting racist white people and it's like no like you have to accept me all the time like 25 8 3 6 7 like you i had a part of this all the time like (laughs) you can't just pick and choose when i'm black enough to like be a part of you know whatever's going on or whatever so you know like i feel like stuff like creating our own stuff is a step in the right direction it's like oh you're complaining about we're not represented enough okay, it's one thing to complain about something, what are we going to do about it? You know, you have a lot of um, artists coming out that are like, hey, this is my original character, this is the original universe that they're from, this is the original storyline, and it's a whole bunch of different flavors of melanin. And it's like, we didn't have enough representation, I am giving us representation. And you're having more content creators doing stuff like that. Like, oh, you don't see enough you know, like, like in my case, like I see black cosplayers, I see Filipino cosplayers, I'm a black Filipino cosplayer. So now if another black Filipino cosplayer is like, well, I'm scared when it comes to cosplaying or whatever, because no one looks like me, like I'm you and you are me. And like, we're, we're the same, Mm -hmm. you know, I allow me to be your representation to motivate you to come up here with me so we can represent together. You know, instead of trying to be so hell-bent on segregation, unless it is beneficial to us. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, we complain about this, we need to do something about it. Like, we complain about, we're not on TV enough. Okay, well, could, like, encourage your artistic friends to, like, do stuff with their artwork. Be like, hey, this is really good. You should get into, like, animation, because I would pay to you know, see this, if you made this a comic book, I would pay, like, to buy this comic book, you know, motivate them and uplift them, because you never know, like, your friend that's been drawing since seventh, like, since second grade or something, they could end up wanting to go into digital animation, and they make their own anime. Now we have melanated people in anime just because we uplifted one another. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, like, we can, we can take the steps in the right direction, But we also need to educate ourselves when it comes to how to respond to those types of people. Because we're torn between, like I mentioned earlier, you know, they say these things to get attention. If you, it's one thing to just be like, you know what, I'm going to ignore you until a certain extent. Mm -hmm. Because now you're just being a dick and it's got to (laughs) stop. I'm going to just ignore you because you're here for attention. I'm not going to give you the attention. 
You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna let you chill out on your own. And then if you can't chill out on your own, then I'll be gladly to put you in your place. But like, or I'll just block you because it's social media. I'll just block you. (laughs) 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 You have control over your page, just block them. You know, same thing with the, like, Safari, I don't know if you've gotten any, but like, I would have like racist comments in my streams. That's Mm -hmm. why I love my friends as bottom fires or like i'll have it set to where like if you type any of these words you are banned from the chat and then it's like hey by the way you typed this word just so you know don't don't do that again if you do it again you're banned from the channel like (laughs) wow it's like but when it comes to dealing with people who are bold enough to approach you in like conventions that's, that's a separate, that's a separate something. You, you handle that differently because you can't. Mm-hmm. You can just walk away. <laughs> blocked. Blocked. Why are you blocked? <laughs> <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, so we are going to do that. We're just blocked. Blocked. <laughs> blocked. Uh, be gone. Uh, not in my Christian life. <laughs> blocked. But these things that we're doing, like having our own, um, you know, like studio that's going to produce anime with, you know, black characters and with our representation and stuff, that's a step in the right direction. Um, having those artistic friends deciding to take up the reins and start making their own comic books, that's a step in the right direction. Um, encouraging other, you know, minority cosplayers to keep cosplaying or to start cosplaying if they want to cosplay. That's a step in the right direction. Like, we need to stop dragging each other down mm-hmm. and being like, oh, Nubia is, like, dark chocolate. Like, you're you're too, like, caramel frappuccino to cosplay as her. Like, what? Like, no. Like, be like, hey, that's a really dope cosplay. Like, keep it up, you know? Like, oh, okay, cool. Nice. I feel good about myself. I'm gonna keep doing this. You know, like, we need to do more of that instead of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like that way we'll get as close as we possibly can to what we want to see as far as change goes. So, like I said, opinion. I've noticed, like, I completely forgot the line that the, these group of people made for their own cosplay comic universe or whatever, but it is, you know, black owned and stuff like that. Um, black mm-hmm. And I've seen some characters, and I haven't had a chance to read any of them yet, because this is like brand new, fresh, probably like last week, right? But looking at the animation of it, the, um, it is some stuff that I'm like, okay, you know, I want to do some stuff. I, I feel ever, ever since uh, Coop sent me that picture that looked exactly like me, I, like, I'm still geeked off about it. I'm going to talk about it forever. <laughs> but I'm going to, I'm going to start finding these artists with these amazing artwork of their own ideas or maybe a twist of somebody else's ideas and I'm going to reach out to them and start trying to cosplay them. Even yeah. if there's an you know an official comic book universe coming out. I want to start doing that because we are locked unless we're doing, you know, any type of race bend, which isn't a word, but I just made it up, but whatever. Or gender bend. <laughs> you know, like I I don't always want to gender bend. I mean it's cool because I like to wear pants. But <laughs> but um no I'm d I definitely I definitely want to start doing that. That's my idea. <laughs> wow, that's that's really dope. Like I think the only the only gender bend cosplay that I have, um, like on my list because I made a list on my phone of like cosplays I want to do. Um, I want to gender bend Hades from Hercules. Ooh, the um, what's that called? Off of that one app. With the purple and the pink, and what is that called? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, y'all gonna make me go crazy! Don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
it was like that modern day mythology comics. Oh no 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 no! Like the like Hades from Disney's Hercules. Oh yeah, like I found like one okay. of my workers, um since I started this job in January. Like I'm still new, but um one of my coworkers she makes her own wigs. Oh wow! And, um, I was like, hey. If I pay you, because remember, can't make anything, but I have the financial stability to pay people to make things for me. <laughs> I was like, hey, like if I, you know, pay for whatever it is you need or whatever, um, can you make a wig for me? And she was like, yeah, sure. Like, what, what do you want to do? And I was like, well, I'm working on this cosplay. And she's like, what you cosplay? And I was like, I do, I do cosplay. Um, <laughs> she's in a separate office so she's she's like around our age or whatever but um she was like she's like yeah like what do you need and I was like well I want to do like a female Hades like from Hercules like Hercules like Hercules <laughs> <laughs> and um you know like obviously I can't like I'm not gonna light my hand on fire but like <laughs> <laughs> Like, I want to do, like, a multi-toned blue wig, so it's, like, black at the roots, and then it's, like, that cobalt blue, and then it's that, that, like, solid blue, and then it's the lighter blue, so it's like his flames, but, like, downwards, and then she was, like, oh, I could do that. I could work on that. I had a We can do this now, and I was, like, y'all, just tell me what you... <laughs> cash app this to you. you got PayPal, I got PayPal, I got Venmo. What you need, girl? You want to bring <laughs> run to the ATM app to work? Like, <laughs> exactly. so, um, I found a, I found the robe. I found like Hades robe with like the little skull as like the clasp or whatever. Um, I found that online. <laughs> so I'm gonna get that, and then she's gonna make um the wig for me. So. We're gonna we're gonna see where that goes. I'm not gonna do the body paint because we already talked about the body paint, and then that's gonna be a lot. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. like, like she go is one thing because let's be honest, it's gonna just be the face because everything else is covered. Hades is completely gray. That's yeah, you know, like that's like more than like Raven from Teen Titans because you know she's she's covered for the most part, but like Hades, it's everything is gray. Like, mm, yeah. that's another reason why I'm like, if I ever do Raven, I'm not doing the body paint. Like, <laughs> exactly. But, yeah, I haven't seen, um, like, a gender-bent 80s at any of the conventions that I've gone to, so I was like, that'd be, that would be pretty neat to do that. And then, like, if I do see one, it's like, oh my god, we're twins! It'll be like that one Spider-Man meme where they're, like, pointing at each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no. I'm determined to make you a cosplay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll work on yeah. that. We'll work. One of these days. I can't make it. One of these days. I do want to, I do want to put something, I want to get good enough to do that, like to take commissions, if that makes sense, from yeah. everybody. That, that would be so, cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm I like it. Like, like, um, my friend Dom, he makes like his own props. For like his cosplays and stuff, I'm like, bro, you need to like open up an Etsy shop and like sell these things on Etsy because yeah, that's pretty much where like a lot of my money goes is Etsy for cosplay. So oh, yeah, because yeah. right, can't make anything. <laughs> so like all my friends that know how to make stuff, I'm like, you need to make stuff and sell it on Etsy because there's a lot of people like me who don't know how to make stuff or. They're too lazy to make stuff, but they have the money. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So definitely, um, definitely be dope. <clears throat> so, shy. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so what do, oh, what do you think? I don't even know what the question is anymore. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'm I ready. can read the game. <laughs> Okay, so what do you think needs to happen to confront colorism and body shaming from happening in the future? Will these things ever go away? Uh, they won't go away, but I kind of have a problem with the pages that promotes us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Why is it every time, like, when something happens to us, 
they have a whole month just to pro just to promote our cosplay. That doesn't make sense to me, and it pisses me off. I feel like you should keep promoting us every single day of the whole year instead of one month. That's dumb. But I almost had I almost preached just now, girl. <laughs> like, do y'all notice every time something happens, they like, oh, we're gonna we promote black. Let everybody know that we're racist. Okay, everybody yeah. like, that's we're true. Like, uh, and like, we'll post it, and and we have to let them know that we're not racist against it. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, no, that's completely yeah. true. Like, they You're do right. stuff just to pacify us for a little while, and then when we think, like, okay, we got a little bit. You know, it's nowhere near enough that we were asking for, like, Obama, you know, we got a black, black president or whatever, you know, and they were like, okay, so y'all can be quiet now. We did y'all a favor. <laughs> like, I mean, Remember, if y'all Black History Month, like, like Chris Rock said, they gave us February because it's the shortest month of the year and it's too cold in March. Listen, like, <laughs> and then they'd be mad that we have a whole month. What about you know White History Month? What about this? I'm like, I learned about the American Revolution 14 times. I learned about all of this and all of that, and I'm learning. Grade, like, get out of here. Yeah, it, it's it's a lot that I can go off of, but that's not what this podcast is about. <laughs> that could be for another podcast. Yes, that be for yeah. another one. Indeed. So I'm gonna stop myself out of discipline. Out of strictly discipline, I'm gonna stop myself. Cause girl, I got my mic ready. No, I definitely, I definitely agree with that. Like, cause it's it's just like how during Black History Month, when they're like, up, oh, we have to acknowledge all of our customers and all of our fans that are black. <laughs> All of them. Like, why can't you like mention us throughout the year? Like, it doesn't have to be every day because you, you know, you want to give props to everybody or whatever. But like, dang, like care about us like every like Tuesday or something. Like, <laughs> like y'all be y'all be so quick to play our music and stuff like that. But when it's time to actually acknowledge us and stuff, like, hey, we're here. We're we're here. Uh, we're not okay. We're not here. Um, we're not welcome awful. here. I guess wow. uh, you know. Same thing with like like with BlurCon. I was like, oh oh, Snapple Apple Juice. We have our own convention. Like, <laughs> 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 oh, let's go. Well, it would be racist if we had an all white convention. <laughs> <laughs> like we can't have nothing, yo. Like this isn't about you. Like. <laughs> Stop Let's it. have something. I know, right? Something right, like, can we have something? Like, yeah. And then, and then with, um, like, what was it? Uh, Like, with everything going on right now, mm. you know, like, including, like, Black Lives Matter, like, Black Lives Matter every day. Not yeah. just a person of color is, you know, like, a victim of a crime or, you know, like, murdered by the police or whatever. Like, we matter every well, day. Mm -hmm. And it's not just one type of black person. It's black nerds, it's black cosplayers, black artists, black musicians, you know, mm -hmm. like black students, like all of that. Like we all, all of us together collectively melanated, we matter, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's not just when something happens. So right. like with how all these businesses are like, oh, well, we're going to donate this much money to, you know, like the black community. And this, that, and the third, like, okay, like, that's cool, but why does somebody have to die mm -hmm. to care? Why can't you just be like, you know what? There you go. I love black people. Like, oh, cool. Thanks. Like, why are you doing it? Wednesday or something. You just felt like donating. Like, <laughs> 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 or even if we are just on a regular schmegular post on a regular schmegular day it's more so of a fetishized yeah. like you know it comes from like a white girl with a black dude and she like yeah. embellishes on his blackness or he embellishes on her blackness or something like that it's not just you know, okay i mean that's it's, it's no, extra i'm like you do but like Stop fetishizing us? Is that a word? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, we're not, 
you're treating us more like a flavor of wheat instead of like people. Like, oh, I love my black husband. Like, is it your black husband or is it your husband? Like, whatever something happens, it's like, oh, black cop shoots white person. It's like, um, why can't it just be cop shot innocent man or whatever the case may be? You know, like, why do you have to? Because that's that's where it continues. Like, you're the media is purposely trying to start yeah. the race. Mm-hmm. And yeah. It just be like, you know, it's like, oh, white cop kills like Mexican college student. Why can't it just be cop murder college student? Like, what do we have to put? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, somebody make it make sense because. Yeah, yeah. Not- <laughs> That's your foot. Are we doing yoga? <laughs> <laughs> Is that your foot? Oh, yeah, I sit in the inside of the chair. What? But it's so high up. <laughs> I'm not going to even attempt. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I can't. I can't sit normal in a chair unless I shoot off. Okay. I've been like this since I was a kid. Like, I don't, I don't know. And then, like, like, my mom, like, Filipinos, like, Asian people in general, like, a lot of the... Every Asian person that I've met, if been around in their house, we all like sit like this in chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling. You're not sitting on the floor at like one of the low tables, you sit like this in a chair. Like, <laughs> I'm not flexible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll sit like this when I stream, and I'll just be like. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Foot there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so mad at her all the time because she just be bomb and be shitting on me, and I'd be mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, hey, I'm you. You remember Kim Possible, right? And she was like, am I going to hate you? I was like, you remember Kim Possible, right? I'm going to hate you, aren't I? <laughs> I was like, all right. So she, she go, right? She's like, I'm going to hate her. <laughs> she said not even TikTok, so I was like, and she's just like, you're in friend time out. I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> like, you know what you did. I did not. I did not know what I did. <laughs> Her she was on point though. Like her she looked like she was saying it and it pissed me off. <laughs> like she goes on a whole rant and she was like, I thought we were friends. Like we served <laughs> our country together. We're supposed to have that bond where we don't lie to each other. And I'm like, yo, what did I do? Like I haven't lied to you. Like what happened? Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like, you know, upon introduction, talking about our hobbies and stuff, you should have been like, oh, yeah, by the way, you know, my name's Cooper, and um, I'm also the voice actress of Shiga from Kim Possible. And I was like, I'm really good at lip syncing. <laughs> like, oh, it's I don't believe you. I don't, I don't believe you. Like, I love you, <laughs> right? But I don't believe you. You're lying to me. <laughs> and I'm like, it was a TikTok. Like, I didn't like, like her. To be moving my mouth with the words, and she's like, "No, that was your voice." You were talking. <laughs> <laughs> but she I didn't like her. To me for like three days. <laughs> <laughs> All of that happened. I didn't like her. I, didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. Your cosplay was great, but don't speak to me for seventy-two hours. And would just ghost me. And I'm like, "Hello." Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I would show. Like every single person I pass, I would show it while you're on punishment. I'm like, look, this, this is, is my friend. Look at my friends. You wish this was your friend. Like, her. This is her, though. <laughs> <laughs> or like when, uh, no, like, all of that happened. Once we did the, once we did that photo shoot, um, and I posted one of the photos of Sora, like with the key light like, pointed at the camera, and the caption was the lyrics to Simple and Clean. Like O'Neal commented, it was like, "You're in timeout." Like, <laughs> I'm not even starting it over. I'm adding time to you being in timeout. You're grounded for a week. And then she'll like park the picture and then leave. 
Because <laughs> I, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and then she'll do the same thing. Like, hey, look like what my friends did. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, look at her. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. <laughs> oh, Shy does bring up some good points. So. Shy does bring up some good points. And we, we also aren't going to go anywhere until our own community gets out of our own lane. Sure. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah, we have to. We have to like pretty much unscrew ourselves of generations of a certain mentality, like a certain way of thinking. Like we have to do a lot of work to unravel a lot of the bull crap mm -hmm. that has been the norm for us. Like we have to take responsibility and take action and be like, hey, you know, going back to just something like beauty standards and acknowledging like, hey, this is wrong. We mm -hmm. need to do something with this. We need to do that within our own groups, our own social circles, our own communities and be like, hey, this is wrong. We're not going to tolerate it. And if you don't listen or don't abide by it, either we're not going to mess with you because we're cutting out all of the toxicity in our lives just to thrive and be great. Or there's going to be consequences. Mm -hmm. So it's like we have to promote the change that we want to see, right? And we have to take action in like pushing that change mm -hmm. that we want to see. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to acknowledge it, but if you acknowledge something and don't do anything about it, you're just complaining. Yeah. And if you whine and complain about something, even as a kid, you whine and complain, nobody's listening to you. That doesn't that doesn't get you anywhere. If you provide them like here's a problem, we acknowledge there's a problem, here are proposed solutions. What are we gonna do about it? Then we'll see results. We'll see the results that we want. Right. Or at least put us like on the path going in the right direction to do so. Right. Our cliche narrative of the single mother home and the under poverty line lifestyle, the streets raised us um, narrative is kind of overplayed. At this, like it exists, but not all of us either currently live in it or, you know, or came from it. It that doesn't take down our blackness because, you know, we didn't grow up in the Compton, like we're still black, we still get treated like we're black every day. We still know our history, hopefully. We know our history. But that's that's basically what the standard is. If he wasn't at busting at somebody on a drive by, you know, you ain't black. Like who said who wrote these books? Like, who, <laughs> are you the ten to know. being black? Did I not? see them was i not educated like i said was there a, an email i was supposed to be cc'd on because i haven't checked my email in a couple of days but like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. to have like a sit down like the congregation was all supposed to gather one day and be like all right here make sure everyone knows this got it <laughs> like, I would not yeah, it's time not. for a new story. It's time for something different and exciting. It's time for, because that's, ooh, you listen to rap, somebody's always talking about, you know, how they came up, and it's always the same story. Like, we all had the same childhood. Like, we're all the same person, but, you know, we're not. And now it's we're not, different. yeah. We can be exposed to the same things, because, like, like, guarantee all of us here right now grew up completely different. But there's a lot of things we've experienced that puts us on the same page. Like, we're, we don't live next to each other. I mean, like, the closest ones are Christine Kendra, and they're an hour away. But it's, like, our age differences, the way we brought up, the different cultures we were brought up around and stuff like that. But we all still experienced, you know, like, self-body shaming. Mm -hmm. We all experienced, you know, trying to fit in, but we're scared to fit in. Like, we've all experienced these things, and it's not like we were all raised in the same house by the same people. Right. Mm -hmm. 
So we can, we can go through life and share experiences with people, even if they're not there actually sharing the experience with us. We can, we have the ability to level with one another and just be like, Hey, so I don't know how you were brought up and you don't know how I was brought up, but like, we both acknowledge there's a problem. Mm -hmm using your life experience my life experience everybody's life experience in two cents what are we going to do to fix it right and differences is what makes change like if we are the same same fish in the same sea we're not going to a different sea we don't know that there's other seas that exist you know so change, differences create change and, and like something else I'm gonna preach on later. <laughs> <laughs> even with like like parenting styles, like the way that our grandparents raised our parents, that that wouldn't really be applicable now because the the environment's different. Mm -hmm. You know, like same way with uh, with like the next generation. Like you look at how people are teaching their kids now. And they're trying to raise them the same way that our great grandparents were raised, but it's it's a different game now. Some stuff's still the same, but there's also a lot of differences. But you're not raising them to be aware of those differences. You're not raising them to you know know how to handle certain situations. You want them to either be aware of everything that's wrong with the world and never shed any light or provide any positivity. Or you try to shelter them and think that ignorance is bliss, but then they go out into the real world on their own and they're just like, oh my God, oh my God, what is this? <laughs> Hello, I need an adult. <laughs> it's like, oh wait, I'm 19. I'm technically an adult. I still need an adult though. <laughs> you know, but when it, when it comes to stuff like that, like you want, if you want something for a lifetime, like you want happiness and positivity for a lifetime, you have to help the next generation. Right. Because the next generation is the future. The, the youth is the future because like same thing with like what they told us when we were in the military, like when it came to training your troops, be mindful of how you train your troops because when you're about to retire, those are your replacements. Mm -hmm. You're training your replacements. You're complaining about how the new, the new troops or the new kids are doing this, that, and the third, but you trained them that way. Mm -hmm. or you didn't discipline them to not be that way so it's like how are you going to get mad at how they're acting if you didn't do anything to help shape and mold and mentor them just like like those parents that try to be their kids friends yeah and, then, oh God. and they're like acting a whole hot mess and you're just like i don't know wh why they did that that's what happens when you try not to raise your kid that's when you decide not to raise your kid and you try to be your kid's friend and then all of a sudden you want to try and be a, the authoritative figure and mm. your kid's gonna look at you like you're crazy like no you're one of my girlfriends you're not my mom like get out of here like <laughs> 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 so it's like you want, you know like i said you want happiness you want change for a lifetime you got to teach this to the next generation like you got to teach them hey i know it sucks but racism is not going anywhere. Here's how you handle it. Mm -hmm. Don't just throw hands every time somebody calls you the N-word because it it's just not gonna go out the way that you expect it to go out. It's not gonna play the way that you want it to play. It's just, that's just how it is. Like educate them about their rights, educate them about what they're supposed to do when they get pulled over by a police officer. Like you educate them about stuff so they're not ready to square up on a cop because- Right. You know, like the the outcome's never guaranteed, and it's like, oh well, if you just do what you're supposed to do when you're pulled over, you know, nothing's gonna happen. That's not that's not true. That's not that's not how that works. Because you look at people who did what they were supposed to, still died. You look at people who were just in their house minding their own business, still died. You look at people who came forward because something happened, mysteriously disappeared, and it's like, hello, like what? So you have to you have to educate the youth and be like, hey, know your rights. If someone tries to back you into a corner, whether it's physically, verbally, whatever, you know how to handle yourself. Otherwise, we're we're screwing over our future. Because if they don't know what to do, what, what are we gonna do? Because we're not gonna be young forever, you know. So it's like they're taking over everything, and they're like, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta help because we we retired. Now you gotta help. But like I don't know how to do nothing. Like <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely if we want to see a change, we got to do something about it. Indeed. Exactly. You have anything, Sean? Any final words? <laughs> That's it. Okay. Whenever you speak, you be speaking facts. <laughs> she be preaching. I'd be like, <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> I just I don't want to get I don't want to get too carried away. <laughs> No, but I mean, that's your personal, you know, your feelings and things like that. And I mean, that, you know, it's not a right or a wrong way. You know what I mean? That's how you yeah. feel. No, because like if I start talking, we will be way off, off subject. And then it's like, yeah, uh, we're, we're not talking about cosplay. So, yeah, I just try not to keep talking because I know how my mouth will get. I will talk about why grass is not green. Like, <laughs> like I'll, I'll, I'll say dumb stuff. Like, <laughs> be like, it's green because of chlorophyll. No! Simulation! <laughs> we are living dot hack sign meets code Lyoko and you cannot tell me otherwise. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I will die on this hill that is full of grass that is not green. <laughs> oh god. Shine flag and that's on period. Exactly. We're just like, is like really a simulation? Like, <laughs> this is what the man wants you to think. Fades <laughs> <laughs> to black, and all you hear is the theme song from Kobe Oko. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Any any other final thoughts? Anything else? No, that's it. Yeah, I, think, I wanna like I think that's it. Just pretty much, you know, do you and bump what other people say, I guess. Like <laughs> Heck yeah. yeah. When it comes to, like, everybody handles the situation differently, but whenever I see those kind of people, like, on my social media or in my streams or whatever, I just block them. Like, I don't have, I don't have time. Like, especially this year by itself, like, I've dealt with too much. I've lost too many friends over dumb stuff. Like, I don't, I don't have time to invest my precious energy into negativity and toxicity. I'm just like, if it's, if you're not bringing me peace of mind, I don't feel healthy around you. And I know everybody can vibe with that. You ever just been yeah. around someone you don't feel healthy around? You, know, you gotta go. Like, I don't care how long I've known you, what we've been through. It's like you start bringing that toxic energy in. You gotta go. Like protect your energy, protect your mental health. You have to take care of you yeah. because at the end of the day, you have yourself. You know, like you can be surrounded by friends and family and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you are with yourself. Like you're in a situation where you're dealing with something and you shut down and you start reflecting inward. It's just you. And if you haven't worked on you in a while and you're a stranger to yourself, it's not going to be a good time. You have to know you as a person. So whenever you're put in situations, it's going to test, you know, your moral compass, your judgment, you as, you as, you know, like characteristics and stuff like that. You can go into that situation confident and be like, I know who I am, what I'm about. And this is how I'm gonna handle the situation, and I'm gonna die on this hill. Like, <laughs> oh so god! Just do, just do you. If it's not affecting you, it's not affecting your family. You know, people you consider your family, and it's not affecting your finances. Then, blizzox, just block. <laughs> Indeed, not in my Christian Minecraft servers. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you have anything else you wanted to say? Oh, thank you, ladies, you know, for doing this podcast with us. Thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> we really appreciate you guys, you know, just taking time out of your day yeah. to, you know, speak your mind and definitely some facts and things to lay troops out there. And I mean, <laughs> You know, I guess all of us, we all just do what we can to, like, confront those things, those issues, and things like that. 
supporting each other, loving one another. So we love y'all. Love you too. <laughs> good show, good show. We can't wait to see y'all's cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in with a bald head and everything. <laughs>